Last talk will be by Masakuri Ishiro. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for giving me this uh, nice talk. So my name is Masakuri Ishiro. I'm I'm a postdoctor in the Tokyo University, and this work is given by a collaborator who has worked with the professors of kinetics of technology, and Akihana Kawasaki, professor at Tokyo University, and Shinji Toyota, who is a professor at University, and this work is published in PRG. And uh, I'll quickly number it here. So um, I will consider about uh, ADHSD such that the boundary is uh, also half in freedom of scope metrics. So, uh, so I consider the boundary is uh, the, this kind of metric and then concept of algorithm. So this is a, a, a correspondence. So actually in this talk, I will consider about the blue board spectrum by considering the uh, process change, and also entanglement entropy by considering the uh, minimal process. So next slide, I will uh, talk, uh, next slide is just content. So this is a plan. So, um, First, I consider about how to set up the five-dimensional bulk with uh, four-dimensional Wittmann loss for some metric. And then I will, uh, I will show that actually the global spectrum has a rigid behavior by the coefficient calculation. And then this is a, uh, and I, I will show how uh, it's going to be calculated by the minimum surface. And then I will summarize. So this is, uh, so first I will talk about how to construct the five-dimensional bulk. So this is under for the five-dimensional bulk metric. So if, if you specify the boundary in, in Minkowski space, then in general there are many bulk metrics to be put. Uh, so you want, you want to find one answer? Yeah, I, I will consider such that the, uh, how to say, the Einstein equation is a five-dimensional root. Einstein equation is such that five-dimensional A is five. So the Einstein equations of the bulk are satisfied? Yes. <coughs> that doesn't uniquely determine the solution because you have initial conditions. And you could have propagating stuff. Uh, For instance, in ordinary global ADS, mm -hmm. there's a whole, there are many solutions that are asymptotically ADS. Yeah. Asymptotic or four-dimensional ADS? Uh, asymptotic or five-dimensional? Yeah. yeah. Um, in, in this talk, uh, yeah, there, is a such, there are some assumptions in this talk. So you're, yeah, you're finding a particular yeah, yeah, which I didn't write here. Okay. So uh, the, the, the function which I should uh, solve is just N R and A R. Okay. Then I will consider the such uh, boundary condition such that the one of the boundary condition such that uh, when uh, R to infinity N and A should be one. Then the coordination boundary metric to become the freedom of local metric such that this kind of and here I would consider only the uh, the four-dimensional Poisson constant is negative, namely uh, this gamma is this kind of body. Usually this is like a k, and k equals zero is a fragment of minus. Why are n and r functions only of r and not time, for instance? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, uh, sorry, uh, for the for the uh, actually n and a is you're right, n and r, uh, a are also depend on time. Yeah, but. Uh, um, I consider this kind of approximation. Oh, it's a slow, idiomatic. Uh, yes. <coughs> yeah, because the, 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 the time of talk is very limited, so I, I will skip many things. So, uh, to, solve the, to solve the A and uh, N, I, I solve the five dimensional equation like this. 
And also, I assume that I, I uh, assume that the four-dimensional Riemann equations in the bound set like this. So lambda is lambda itself is positive and minus lambda is negative and this is a negative so constant in the four-dimensional matrix. And uh, I assume that the time operation of the A0T is very slow. Actually, there is a, a constant solution, namely A0, A0 equals uh, 1 over U the lambda, and uh, A0 should be near this region. Then, uh, uh, in these papers, uh, there is data solutions. A is, is this kind of uh, type. A and M is And there are the two parameters, R0 and C0. And R0 is just a cosmological constant, which I defined before. And large R is just a, it is five radius. And C0 is a mathematical integration constant, but in the physical meaning is, uh, in, in the brain world uh, context, it's called the calculation sum. And in the physical meaning, the, the energy density of the four dimensional unit too. Wait, lo locally, what this looks like a black brain? This um, N is like the in, in black, N goes uh, yeah. to zero somewhere? Yeah, yeah. N has a horizon, a, a other accelerators. And this is the true solution of the five-dimensional five Einstein metric. Actually, we, we assume this kind of uh, information. But anyway, uh, this is the solution of the five-dimensional metric. So there are two parameters, C0 and R0. And R0 is a cosmological constant, and C0 is an energy density or temperature. Sure. So, so to clarify the meaning of C0, uh, first uh, I will consider when the R0 equals to 0, namely the flux, when the four dimensional flux metric uh, is flux. So in this case, five dimensional bulk metric is become like this. And actually, by changing the five dimensional coordinates of R to R cubed are like this, this is just then the metric becomes the usual five-dimensional edge plus the black hole. So that, and then we can uh, oh, we can obtain the temperature from the C0. So C0 contributes the temperature. Then I consider the general case, namely when the R0 also is finite. Sorry, what happened to the time dependence in the other case? Uh, Actually, I, I didn't I, I didn't show about the time dependence in this talk, and also uh, when, when I consider time dependence, it's it's become very complicated. And, uh, uh, you mean if we? Uh, wait, I, I I know it's very slow, but um, but but the, ah, okay. it's that over long time that builds up, right? Time dependence. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, actually, the time dependence uh, is. Uh, Wait, should I think of A as constant or time dependent? Ah, C0, actually, C0 is time dependent. I mean, C0 equals constant of divided by A0 to the fourth. So, um, but and I, I, I assume that this time dependent is very slow. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's difficult to, to say about the time dependent because I didn't uh, consider too much about this. So this is a general form when the R zero uh, when the there is a cosmological constant, four dimensional cosmological constant, the horizon is shifted by minus R two square. So so that's why this, uh, the temperature is defined by this. So C zero computes the temperature, but R zero have a opposite con contribution to the temperature. So when C zero is larger than the, uh, this uh, condition, uh, C zero satisfies these conditions, there's the event horizon. And uh, there's a black hole in this case. However, uh, when the Caesar is uh, less than this uh, value, there is no event horizon. And actually, in this case, the Biology theory is in the confinement phase. And I show in the next slide that the regular spectrum has uh, uh, dirty behaviors. And when Caesar is larger than the, uh, uh, this value, I, I uh, this is in the confinement phase, and the global tension of the blue ball becomes zero in this case. So, uh, 
I, I, I didn't understand you confined with some something shrinks to zero, some cycle shrinks ah, to zero. Mm, uh, for example, when I consider this one loop, by the open thing, you check open thing, actually this has a uh, linear potential. But in, in the geometry does some cycle shrink to zero, something caps off the space? Ah, uh, in geometry, it becomes, uh, when C0 is with a little confinement, and it becomes like a conformally Euclidean, I mean, conformal plus, um, let's say, Does R go all the way down to zero? Yes. Yes. Even in the confined space? Yes. There is no uh, nothing cutting it off. It's not like uh, ABS torsion. Okay. And we, we okay. then we consider the global spectrum. It's a uh, uh, there is a there is a closed string in the public above. And there's no phase transition between these. Is it continuously? Really? Uh, actually, there's a uh, not a first order phase transition, but uh, there's a. Is the geometry a continuous function of C0? Yeah, in geometry, it's a continuous. But, but uh, there are some sort of points of uh, near the phase transition regions. Uh, it's basic uh, to the time independent. So, okay. yeah. And uh, so, so, okay. Just, uh, the energy of the blue ball is a the energy of the closed string, and the angular moment the spin is the angular moment of the closed string. And I, I just want to uh, calculate the number of the interactions. <coughs> then this is just a, a mathematical. Um, so then uh, I can get the uh, legend behavior by by calculating the uh, energy of the closed string and the uh, angular moment of the closed string. And actually, we, we get the legend behavior. And then from these behaviors, I get the tension of the blue string, tension of the blue ball spectrum. And then when the when the phase function point, actually the tension becomes zero. So this shows that when uh, when the C zero is less than this value, it's uh, in the confinement phase. So next, uh, I consider the entanglement of this entanglement will be. Uh, this, this is a minimal circuit in the five minute work. I, I didn't explain so much. Then I, I will consider that just a, I, have a, I, I will just target the minimal circuit in the first round. Okay. This is just a solution. This is a minimal circuit. Uh, uh, solution in the nuclear regions and uh, the, the time dependence is uh, uh, including the co coefficient of the log terms. Now, when a zero dot becomes uh, cos zero, this log term will vanish. Then, this is the result of the entanglement because the divergent term is here and this is a finite term. Now, uh, by defining the uh, proper area like this, there are scale factors. And actually, we get the area, usual area law in the entanglement entropy in this two-part work model case. And gamma is a UV cut independent part. And uh, when a dot divided by a is very small, it becomes a degree of freedom in the theory. Uh, actually, I'm not sure about this, this term yet. But there is the same term in the Dodista case. In this case, and uh, I, I consider finite terms, uh, just to subtract the, the divergent terms, and then uh, show that the relation between the temperature and the uh, finite term divided by the volume. And the volume is defined by this. Then uh, obtain the heating functions numerically. And then find that the coefficient is uh, becomes a size of the cubic, and uh, then the entanglement entropy is defined by the minimal surface divided by the four times Newton constant, and then we get uh, this term. And this is uh, nothing but uh, uh, black hole entropy in the radius five by two by four. So this is a summary. Um, I consider, 
Just want to say that the five major graphs, A, B, is four major boundary, three or more four strong parametry, is in the negative quotient of the constant, and then the density is zero. And T0 is less than some bigger values, four dimension theory is in the confinement phase, and actually we get the daily behavior. And when T0 is larger than the, these bigger values, there's the event horizon and the theory is in the confinement phase. And actually, tension of the cross stream becomes zero, and the final part of the holographic entrance entropy becomes the, uh, the leading part becomes the vacation hooking entropy by this part. So the, the working progress is that we get to consider the uh, small zero region, the NTP, and the same process when you see the same brain and the process kind of transformation. We also want to look at this. So this is the end of my talk. Thank you very much. Questions? Well, it's nice that the long day looks like uh, me again at all the speakers this afternoon. Thank you.